more important than your medical history. And no, it's not a genetic test. Hi, this is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. I'm Dr. Tom Salt. I'm a medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. I'm Elizabeth, a registered nurse and also the wellness coach here at Just Be Well. We're in the middle of a medical crisis. We are applying the acute care model to chronic disease. So, you know, we're treating symptoms in isolation. Somebody comes in and they, they're feeling down and depressed and they have low energy and their sleep's terrible. And they get four or five different meds mm -hmm. for that instead of looking for the one reason. You know, it's weird because in medical school, all doctors were try, taught to look for the one common cause. And we've lost that someplace. We've, we've really been regulated or relegated to the pharmaceutical industry and they've got a pill for every ill and we're supposed to prescribe it. That's not gonna work for chronic complex mm -hmm. disease. You know, we spend more money on chronic complex disease than we do on defense. But we're doing that because we're treating it symptomatically instead mm -hmm. of via cause. And we're, so people are getting this fragmented care. So as you said, we are trying to treat these individuals who have a half a dozen symptoms yep. with a half a dozen medications, which add Side effects. More symptoms. <laughs> it's creating a, you know, a bigger storm within the storm. And finally, mm -hmm. you're to the point where I'm on all these medications. Are they helping? Are they making me worse? What are my symptoms are actually my symptoms anymore? And what's caused from the medications that I'm taking? And then, you know, there's more, there's more things that go wrong. There's more testing that's done, but yet nothing can be found. You know, and I don't want you to walk away thinking we're anti-medication because we're not, you know, yeah. but medication is like the, the Dutch boy. Mm -hmm. You know, medication is a finger in the dike and then you have to figure out why the dike's leaking in, in the first place. And fix it. And fix it. Hopefully you won't need medication for the rest right. of your life. So before we get into the solution, I want to invite you to stay to the end. We've got some really special stuff at the end, including the opportunity to join our community where there are closed Q and A's and other interesting uh, things that we do. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to download several chapters from my book, Just Be Well, which is also available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So the thing we're really talking about is a timeline. Why is it more important than uh, your medical history? Because normally when you go to the doctor's office, your medical history is the thing that's bugging you right now. Mm -hmm. You know, my fingers are numb. Okay, well, it turns out you have diabetes and your fingers are numb, but you know that's not really the issue. There's a much longer history. So what does a timeline do? A timeline takes us back to the last time you felt well. Truly well. Mm -hmm. Truly well. Not last Thursday when I didn't have a headache. Not the glimmers of wellness in between. Like when did this all start? When did the spiral downward begin? what occurred around that time, what was going on in your life, what was going on socially, emotionally. Did you have a sudden illness that left you with an impaired gut? Yep, and I'll tell you that almost everybody that we see, they will say, I was never well since. Mm -hmm. And there is an event that they know about, and they've even maybe told doctors about it, but the doctors and whatever, I'm treating you for the proximate symptom that brought you in here. But that's critically important. I, I like to say your, your wellness is this line. And you know, when you're young, it's going up, you're getting healthier and stronger, and then you reach adulthood and you plateau off. And then as we age, it starts to climb, right? But at some point along the way, it breaks south. And right at that break point, right there, what happened? What's different, unique, and unusual right there? What are the contributing factors to you getting unwell? You know, we wanna go from ease or we don't want to go, but we go from ease to dis-ease. How do we get back to ease? Mm -hmm. And that we're really digging, we're mining something. We're mining your history for something called ATMs, antecedents, triggers, mediators. So we learn about your antecedents really from your family history. You know, your uncle Bob had heart disease and your aunt Tilly had depression and uh, your, your dad had coronary artery disease and 
those all turn out to be inflammatory issues. So gosh, I wonder if you are predisposed to inflammation and now something traumatic in your life happened, your, your wellness slanted downward. Maybe you got arthritis, which is also an inflammatory disease. What happened right around here? Was it a car accident? Was it an illness? Was it a what? What happened? A what divorce. happened? A divorce. Any number of traumatic events, psychosocial, physical, you know, spiritual, whatever it may be, all, all comers welcome what's going on. So we, we construct this timeline in order to look deeply at who you are. What are your antecedents? What were the triggering events? What are probably the mediators? These, you know, in the case of my example, inflammatory mediators. And how are we going to squelch them? How are we going to turn them off? So how can you do that? Well, if you go to our community and you download the, the ports, parts of my book, um, you will find it in one of the appendices, something called the Medical Symptoms Questionnaire. And I recommend you do it twice. Do it once for the things that are bugging you right now. And then do it one more time, at least one more time, for everything that's ever bugged you. And put a date to it. And then put it on a timeline. And start looking for things that connect. You know, we like to say that um, conventional medicine is often about naming and blaming. So what do you have? You have rheumatoid arthritis. And we're going to blame it. And now that we know it's rheumatoid arthritis, bang, we give you an, uh, an immune-suppressing drug. And that's how we fix it. Mm -hmm. In functional medicine, it's about thinking and linking. So the question becomes, you know, what is it? That's an interesting place to start. But the real question, if what is it? Why is it? What's underneath there? What's the proximal cause? What's the cause before that? What's the fundamental cause? And how can we intervene to change that? And it almost always has to do with the interplay between your genetic and epigenetic makeup and your diet, lifestyle, and the environment. I just read an, uh, an email this morning from a colleague who said that uh, he got his uh, glyphosate uh, level, um, mm -hmm. you know, that's Roundup. Mm -hmm. And it was really high. And he now believes that that's the reason for his mild cognitive decline. It's not, uh, you know, the concussions. It may be partly related to concussions he had as a kid, but he's got these neurotoxins in very high levels. And so, you know, we start looking at this timeline and figuring out new things. So we go to these... Um, medical symptoms questionnaire because it's a memory jog. You know, I feel really healthy. I, you know, I don't really remember when I was sick, but if I have a memory jog, I start to remember things that happen. You know, gee, I take a blood pressure medicine. When, when did my blood pressure problems really start? Gosh, you know, I've got digestive problems. When did my digestive problems really start? And you start constructing this timeline you know, you have all these illnesses or these episodes or these things and you want to include traumas. You know, I had a car accident. I had a divorce. I broke up with a significant friend. My dog died. You know, sometimes dogs are our most um, wonderful companions. They, they are truly unconditional love. Mm -hmm. I have this um, little picture that I love mm -hmm. and there's a guy sitting on a bench and he's thinking about, you know, traveling on an airplane and money and you know, a relationship and whatever and whatever. And the dog sitting next to him and the bubble above the dog's head is just the dog sitting next to the guy, <laughs> right? True mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And that's what dogs can be. You know, you can come always home. Happy. Always happy. Always come happy. home. You had a crappy day and the dog is just so happy to see you. So sometimes the dog dying is the most traumatic event. You know, it really can be. The catalyst for other issues. Yep. Mm -hmm. loneliness, isolation. And we know that loneliness and isolation is actually one of the biggest risk factors for illness. Mm -hmm. It's not your cholesterol. It's not your blood pressure. It's not any other biochemical number. It's mm -hmm. isolation. Mm -hmm. So you put these things down on paper and then you start looking at clues, clues about what might have predisposed you to illness. And then you start pulling it apart. And the complicated cases are obviously going to require a uh, medical doctor uh, or a holistic practitioner. But many times you can really start to see big, big, um, obvious, glaring things mm -hmm. that you can do that can help you. So construct your timeline. And then um, we'll try to talk more and more about timelines and matrices and ATMs and how to use them.
So this is uh, Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness, everything from psychosocial spiritual domains all the way through energy production, detoxification, uh, digestion, and elimination, and everything in between. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Please hit the bell so that you get notifications. And consider uh, hitting the link in the description to go to our community where you can download segments of my book, Just Be Well, which is also available on Amazon. Join our community, participate in free webinars and uh, Q&As and all kinds of fun stuff. So have a good day. Bye.